The Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Juster is a whimsical and imaginative novel that follows the journey of a young boy named Milo as he ventures into the magical lands beyond a mysterious toll booth. The story is filled with wordplay, puns, and clever language, creating a rich and engaging narrative that invites readers to explore the importance of curiosity, learning, and the joy of discovery. One of the central themes of the book is the value of education and the idea that learning should be a lifelong pursuit. Milo's adventure in the Kingdom of Wisdom serves as a metaphor for the educational journey, emphasizing the importance of intellectual curiosity and the exploration of new ideas. The author uses the fantastical elements of the story to illustrate the excitement and fulfillment that can come from a curious mind. Through the characters Milo encounters, such as the weatherman, the humbug, and the watchdog talk, Juster introduces various facets of human behavior and attitudes towards learning. The lands Milo visits, such as Dictionopolis and Digitopolis, are cleverly crafted allegories that explore language, mathematics, and other academic subjects in a playful manner. This approach encourages readers to view learning not as a chore but as an adventure full of possibilities. The novel also conveys a message about the importance of perspective and the impact of one's attitude on their experiences. Milo's initial boredom and lack of interest in the world around him are transformed as he becomes more engaged in his journey. The story suggests that a shift in perspective, coupled with an open mind, can lead to a more fulfilling and meaningful existence. While The Phantom Toll Booth is undoubtedly a children's book, its themes and messages are universal and resonate with readers of all ages. Juster's clever use of language and wordplay adds depth to the narrative, making it not only an enjoyable read but also a thought-provoking exploration of the human experience. The book encourages readers to embrace curiosity, appreciate the beauty of language and learning, and approach life with a sense of wonder. 7 Lessons Learned from the Phantom Toll Booth Embrace Curiosity and Exploration The book emphasizes the importance of curiosity as a driving force for personal growth. Milo's journey encourages readers to be inquisitive and open-minded, highlighting the idea that life's true wonders unfold when one actively seeks to explore the world around them. Learning is an Adventure the Phantom Toll Booth transforms the concept of education into an exciting and dynamic adventure. By presenting knowledge as a series of magical lands and challenges, the book suggests that the pursuit of learning can be just as thrilling and rewarding as any fantastical quest. The Power of Words Through wordplay and clever language use, the novel underscores the significance of words and how they shape our understanding of the world. It encourages readers to appreciate language as a tool for communication, creativity, and expression. Perspective Matters Milo's transformation throughout the story highlights the impact of perspective on one's experiences. The narrative suggests that a positive attitude and a willingness to see the world from different angles can lead to personal growth and a richer, more fulfilling life. Challenges are opportunities. The obstacles and challenges Milo faces in the Kingdom of Wisdom are symbolic of real-life difficulties. The book teaches that instead of shying away from challenges, one should view them as opportunities for learning, growth, and self-discovery. Individuality and Uniqueness The diverse characters and lands in the story celebrate individuality and uniqueness. Each character represents a different aspect of human behavior or thought, promoting the idea that our differences contribute to the richness of the human experience. Appreciation for the Everyday Milo's initial boredom with everyday life serves as a reminder to appreciate the simple pleasures and beauty in the ordinary. The story encourages readers to find joy in the mundane and to recognize that every moment holds the potential for discovery and wonder. The Phantom Toll Booth weaves these lessons into its enchanting narrative offering readers a delightful and insightful exploration of the values of curiosity, learning, and the transformative power of a positive perspective. The Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Juster is a whimsical journey through a fantastical land filled with wordplay, 
allegory, and imaginative characters. Here's a detailed chapter-wise summary of the book. Chapter 1, Milo The story begins with Milo, a young boy, expressing his boredom with the world. One day, he discovers a mysterious toll booth in his room and decides to drive through it in his toy car. This act marks the beginning of Milo's extraordinary adventure. Chapter 2, Beyond Expectations Upon passing through the toll booth, Milo finds himself in the doldrums, a place where thinking and laughing are prohibited. The watchdog, Talk, joins him, and together they journey towards the lands beyond. Chapter 3, Welcome to Dictionopolis Milo and Talk arrive in Dictionopolis, a city devoted to words. They meet the weatherman and learn about the ongoing conflict between King Azitz the unabridged and the math magician over whether words or numbers are more important. Chapter 4, Confusion in the Marketplace Milo explores the bustling marketplace in Dictionopolis, encountering the spelling bee and the humbug. He witnesses the literal war between words and numbers, providing insight into the absurdity of such conflicts. Chapter 5 Short Shrift Milo and his companions visit the royal banquet, where they witness the humorously absurd wordplay of the banquet's guests. They meet the spelling bee again, and Milo is accused of eating his words, leading to his brief imprisonment in the dungeon of the castle in the air. Chapter 6, Faintly Macabre's Story Milo learns about the banishment of the princess's rhyme and reason and the impact it had on the kingdom of wisdom. Faintly macabre, the not-so-wicked witch, shares her story, revealing the consequences of the absence of rhyme and reason. Chapter 7, The Royal Banquet Milo, Talk, and the Humbug attend a banquet where they witness a literal word war between the guests. This chaotic event reinforces the ongoing conflict between words and numbers in the Kingdom of Wisdom. Chapter 8, The Humbug Joins the Expedition the humbug officially joins Milo and Talk on their quest. The three set off towards the Mountains of Ignorance to rescue the princesses and restore harmony to the Kingdom of Wisdom. Chapter 9, The Return of Rhyme and Reason Milo, Talk, and the humbug face numerous challenges in the Mountains of Ignorance. They encounter demons and demons' offspring, but with the help of Milo's newfound wisdom, they reach the castle where rhyme and reason are imprisoned. Chapter 10, Dictionopolis Revisited After successfully rescuing rhyme and reason, Milo and his companions return to Dictionopolis. The once chaotic and divided city is now harmonious and balanced, signifying the reunification of words and numbers. Chapter 11, The Future of Wisdom King Azitz and the Math Magician Reconcile understanding the importance of both words and numbers. Milo is given the gift of the magic toll booth to share with others, and the story concludes with Milo back in his room, now appreciating the wonders of the world around him. The phantom toll booth weaves a tapestry of clever wordplay and imaginative allegory, imparting valuable lessons about the joy of learning, the importance of perspective, and the magic inherent in the everyday. Each chapter contributes to Milo's transformative journey and the overarching themes of the narrative. If you found this summary of the fandom tollbooth intriguing and are eager to embark on Milo's whimsical adventure yourself, dive into the complete narrative to experience the full magic of Norton Juster's imaginative world. To delve deeper into the enchanting realms of language, learning, and the joy of discovery. Consider purchasing the book through the link provided in the description. If you enjoyed this summary and believe others might find it valuable, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your fellow book enthusiasts. Your support helps spread the love for literature and encourages others to explore the wonders of the Phantom Toll Booth. For more insightful book summaries and literary explorations in this category, make sure to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on upcoming summaries, ensuring a continuous journey through the captivating landscapes of literature. Happy reading! The Phantom Toll Booth distinguishes itself in the realm of children's literature through its unique blend of wordplay, allegory, 
and imaginative storytelling. Here are some aspects that set this book apart from others in the same genre. Clever wordplay. Norton Juster's unparalleled use of wordplay and pun sets the Phantom Toll Booth apart. For instance, in Dictionopolis, words come to life in a literal sense, such as when Milo meets the humbug and the spelling bee. This play on language not only engages readers but also imparts a deeper appreciation for the power of words. Why not? said Milo, who was beginning to see things a little differently. Oh, no reason at all, he answered, if you happen to like things like rhymes and reasons. Educational Allegory The book serves as a captivating educational allegory, seamlessly integrating lessons on language, mathematics, and critical thinking. Each destination in the lands beyond represents a facet of learning, making education an exciting and central theme. So many things are possible just as long as you don't know they're impossible. Philosophical Themes for All Ages While categorized as a children's book, The Phantom Toll Booth addresses philosophical themes that resonate with readers of all ages. The exploration of perspective, the impact of attitude, and the celebration of individuality are universal concepts that contribute to the book's enduring appeal. You must never feel badly about making mistakes. As long as you take the trouble to learn from them. Whimsical Characters and Settings The characters and settings in the book are wonderfully imaginative. From the weatherman to the ticking watchdog talk, and the vibrant locales like Dictionopolis and the Mountains of Ignorance, Juster creates a rich, fantastical world that captivates readers and enhances the storytelling experience. So many things are happening every day that it's impossible to keep track of them all. Integration of Playful Humor Juster infuses the narrative with playful humor, ensuring that the book remains entertaining and enjoyable. The interactions between characters, such as Milo, Talk, and the Humbug, add a light-hearted and humorous touch to the overall storytelling. Expectations is the place you must always go to before you get to where you're going. The Phantom Toll Booth stands out not only for its creative and linguistic prowess but also for its ability to seamlessly weave important life lessons into an enchanting and accessible narrative. The book's enduring popularity attests to its unique charm and the timeless relevance of its themes. The Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Juster holds a unique place in children's literature, and while comparisons can be drawn to other works in the same genre or by the same author, its distinctive qualities make it stand out. Comparison to Other Works by Norton Juster Norton Juster's other notable work, The Dot and the Line, while also clever and imaginative, differs significantly from The Phantom Toll Booth. The Dot and the Line is a love story told through simple illustrations and explores the concept of artistic expression. In contrast, The Phantom Toll Booth is a full-fledged novel that delves into the realms of language learning, and adventure. Unique blend of fantasy and education. Unlike many children's books that focus solely on fantasy or education, The Phantom Toll Booth seamlessly blends both elements. While Roald Dahl's works often lean more towards fantasy and whimsy, Juster's book combines imaginative storytelling with educational allegory, offering a distinctive reading experience. Comparisons to Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland The Phantom Toll Booth is sometimes compared to Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland due to its whimsical and fantastical elements. However, Juster's work distinguishes itself through a more explicit focus on intellectual exploration and learning. The lands beyond serve as educational allegories, whereas Wonderland is more surreal and nonsensical. Unique Wordplay and Language Exploration While works like Dr. Seuss's books also utilize wordplay and creative language, Juster's approach in the Phantom Toll Booth is distinct. The book not only plays with language but also explores its philosophical and educational dimensions, making it a more explicitly educational work. Comparison to Classic Fairy Tales In contrast to traditional fairy tales, the Phantom Toll Booth doesn't follow a conventional fairy tale structure. 
it doesn't rely on archetypal characters or linear narrative. Instead, it crafts a unique and unconventional story that challenges the expectations of the genre. In essence, what makes the Phantom Toll Booth unique is its intricate balance between fantasy, education, and philosophical exploration. While it shares some whimsical elements with other works in the genre, Juster's clever wordplay, educational depth, and the seamless integration of life lessons distinguish it as a one-of-a-kind literary adventure for readers of all ages. The Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Juster is appealing and relevant to listeners for several reasons, touching on various life stages, challenges, and aspirations. Relevance to Childhood and Adolescence The protagonist, Milo represents the curiosity and occasional boredom that are common experiences in childhood and adolescence. The journey he embarks on reflects the universal desire to find meaning and excitement in the world, making it relatable to young listeners navigating their own journeys of self-discovery. Navigating Educational Challenges The book addresses the challenges and perceptions associated with education. Milo's adventure in the Kingdom of Wisdom serves as a metaphor for the educational journey, emphasizing the importance of curiosity, critical thinking, and the joy of learning. It can resonate with students facing academic challenges or those seeking a more engaging approach to education. Exploration of Perspective and Attitude The narrative explores the impact of perspective and attitude on one's experiences. Milo's transformation from boredom to appreciation highlights the power of a positive outlook, a lesson that can resonate with individuals facing challenges or feeling stuck in a routine. Celebration of Individuality Through its diverse characters and imaginative settings, the book celebrates individuality and uniqueness. It encourages listeners to embrace their own quirks and differences fostering a sense of self-acceptance and understanding that diversity contributes to the richness of the human experience. Philosophical Themes for Adults While classified as a children's book, the philosophical themes explored in the fandom toll booth resonate with adults. The book prompts reflection on the pursuit of knowledge, the importance of perspective, and the joy of lifelong learning, making it relevant to individuals at various stages of life. Dealing with Challenges Creatively Milo encounters numerous challenges in the lands beyond, and his approach to problem-solving reflects creativity and resilience. The book encourages listeners to view challenges as opportunities for growth, fostering a mindset that is valuable not only in childhood but throughout life. Rediscovering Wonder in the Everyday The story underscores the idea of finding wonder in the ordinary. This theme can resonate with listeners of all ages who may be seeking to rediscover the magic in their daily lives, encouraging them to appreciate the small joys and possibilities that surround them. The Phantom Toll Booth is appealing and relevant because it speaks to the universal themes of curiosity, education, perspective, and the transformative power of a positive attitude. Whether facing the challenges of youth, adulthood, or simply seeking a fresh perspective on life, listeners can find resonance and inspiration in the whimsical and thought-provoking journey of Milo. The Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Juster is not just a whimsical adventure, it's a timeless exploration of curiosity, learning, and the transformative power of perspective. Through clever wordplay, imaginative storytelling, and a celebration of individuality, the book captivates listeners of all ages resonating with the challenges and aspirations that accompany various stages of life. As Milo navigates the lands beyond, the book gently nudges us to view education as an exciting journey, challenges as opportunities, and the ordinary as extraordinary. Its significance lies not only in its clever narrative but also in its ability to impart valuable life lessons with a touch of humor and charm. The Phantom Toll Booth encourages us to embrace the magic of words, appreciate the beauty of learning, and approach life with an open mind and a positive attitude. Its impact transcends generations, making it a beloved classic that continues to inspire and ignite the imagination of readers, inviting them to embark on their own meaningful journeys of discovery and wonder.
Absolutely. I'm here to assist and gather feedback. If you have any thoughts, questions, or specific areas you'd like me to focus on or improve, please feel free to share. Your feedback is valuable and will help me refine my approach to ensure your needs are met effectively. Let me know how I can better assist you.